Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project online crime management system. So first let us extract the project. And you can see that the online crime management system folder has been created. So in the folder you have database backup file which includes crime report SQL file. Online crime management system which includes the source code that is uh, all the PHP files. Project documentation this includes uh, the project documents. Uh, Now let us copy the online crime management system folder and let us paste this in C drive under XAMPP folder in htdocs folder. So this is because I have installed XAMPP folder that is XAMPP control panel in local disk C. Wherever you have installed you can paste it in htdocs. So it is pasted and you can see the PHP files here. Now let us copy the name of the folder. Let us start XAMPP control panel and let's start Apache and MySQL server. We can see the servers are running and let's open the browser. In the browser type localhost slash Paste the name of the folder online crime management system. So this is how we will execute the folder. Now you can see there is an error failed to connect to MySQL. This is because we have not imported the database. So to import the database type localhost slash php myadmin. This is the MySQL server. Clicking on databases you can create the database. The database name must be same as the database backup file what you have. So once you create the database, click on import and click on choose file. Under database backup there is crime report SQL file, import the file, click on go. So this will import your file. This might take some time. So once the import is successful, you can see all the tables of the project. So this is how on refreshing, there is no error here. So this is the crime reporting police information management system. Crime report management system is a website application which reduces the paperwork for the police station and here the person file can file the complaint through online. Here we can maintain, add and retrieve all the records like complaint record, criminal record, complaint and criminal records, most wanted criminal records, case history and many more in a single database system. So this is helpful for the complainers as well as the police department. Now let us register a complaint. So you can see that before registering a complaint, the complainer must register. The complainer must mention his name, his email ID, phone number as well as the password and the confirm password must be mentioned. On clicking on click here to register, the complainer will be registered successfully. Then the complainer must log in using his email ID and password. As the complainer logs in, the complainer can go through the website. Under profile, the complainer can update his profile. That is, he can make changes to his profile and he can ch also change his password. To change his password, he must mention his old, new and the confirm password. Then the complainer can register a complaint. Here the complainer must enter his state, city and the station, then the details of the complainer and complaint in detail. So what is the complaint? That is the title of the complaint must be mentioned and complaint must be described in detail. Then the accused name and the accused person's address must be mentioned. Then the victim details that is who is the victim of this complaint. The victim's name, 
the victim's address and victim's phone number must be mentioned here under evidence details if there is any evidence the complainer must enter the evidence and if there are any photo or video evidences he must enter the evidences here the complainer doesn't have any of the evidences so he is not going to upload any of the evidence so there is no evidence as photos or video but the neighbor has sir, but the neighbor has seen the robbery so the bicycle was robbed and it was seen by the neighbor so the complaint is filed the accused details as well as the complainer's details is available the complaint is not processed yet so under report in complaint report the complainer can view the report and you can see the status is pending that is because it is not at processed now let us log in as cop the cop must log in using the login id and password here the default login id and password of the cop or the administrator is admin and the password is also admin so once the cop logs in the admin dashboard is available and under update profile the cop can update their profile by making changes to any of the details which is present in their database and in change password they can change the password under settings in add state the admin can add the state by mentioning the state and the description about the state must be mentioned and status must be selected as active under view state the admin can view the various states along with the action edit and delete under add city here the admin can add the city and after adding the city the state of that particular city must be selected and the description about the city must be given and status must be selected as active on submit city record will be inserted and this can be viewed under view city so here the admin also has an action edit and delete where he can delete the cities which he doesn't want to keep for any further use under add station here the admin can add the station by mentioning the station name and then selecting the state and the city and the address of the station must be mentioned and the contact number of the station must be mentioned the image must also be mentioned and the description about the station must be written and the status must be selected as a active on clicking on submit the station record will be inserted and this can be viewed under view station so here the admin can view all the stations present in their locations and under add cop the admin can add the various cops by mentioning their name and by selecting their station the station must be selected and the designation of the cop must be selected and the image of the cop must be uploaded then the cop profile must be written where here the cop's experience can be written or any special qualities of that particular cop can be written under gender the gender must be selected and contact number email id and login id of the cop must be mentioned and the password and confirm password must be entered under status select active and on clicking on submit the details of the cop record will be inserted under view cop the cops can be viewed by the admin 
Under add designation, here the designation of the different cops can be added. It can be administrator, it can be an inspector, or it can be a constable, or any other designations, and its details must be mentioned. So this is how the designation will be added to the database, and this can be viewed under view designation. And here admin also has the action edit and the delete. Under legal here in add legal case report here the admin or the cop itself they can register the complaint or register the charge sheet and this can be viewed under view legal case and under complaint in view complaint here the complaints from different complainers can be viewed which have come online so you can see the complaint which we registered just now and you can see the status was pending now let us view that comment you can see the station you can see the details of the complainer and the complaint detail the victims detail evidence details and you can see the complaint status and on clicking on accepted the complaint will be accepted by the cops you can see the complaint acceptance acknowledgement where the complainer details as well as police station response can be viewed and under view complainer here the admin or the cops can view the different complainers and they can also view their complaints and they also has the action edit and delete. Under FIR in FIR registration, once the complaint is accepted, it can be added to register the FIR. So the cops can register the FIR by selecting the particular case and on click here to file FIR they can file the FIR details. To file FIR, they must put the section number that is under which section this case comes and what is the type of the complaint and what is the registration date and what is the FIR details and what and from which date FIR starts and on which date the FIR ends. This must be written. Then the status must be selected as under process and click on submit. Now the FIR record is inserted and only when the FIR is complete, the cops can put the charge sheet. So to complete the FIR, they must click on edit and they must select the status as completed. Only once the status is completed, it is available under charge sheet. So now when you click on view uh, under charge sheet in add charge sheet you can view the fired case and you can see file charge sheet and here again to file the charge sheet they must mention the section number and they must give the brief explanation about the case and they should make the charge sheet report And what is the offense made and who is the accused and the documents of the charge sheet must be uploaded. And then the status must be selected as active and submit the charge sheet report. On submitting the charge sheet report, the charge sheet will be filed and you can view the charge sheet report in detail and the document can be downloaded. Under view charge sheet, the charge sheet details can be viewed and clicking on view charge sheet, the cops can view the charge sheet details and they also has the action edit and delete and under view charge sheet they can view it in detail that is the date of charge sheet and all the details of the complainer as well as the accused everything can be viewed in the charge sheet. Under crime report in add crime report, here once the charge sheet is added, the cops can add the crime report. So under crime report, again they must mention the details that is what is the, on which date the crime is reported and what is the title of the crime report. So once it is added, they can view it under view crime report. So here under view crime report you can see prisoners, on clicking on prisoners, the prisoner's name and the section under which they are charged 
and what is the crime they have done that is the crime details made by that particular prisoner and the prisoner's address must be mentioned and the prisoner's image and the document proof is also a must and the prisoner's image and the document proof must also be attached here on clicking on submit the prisoner's details will be added and here the cops can keep record of each cases and who is the prisoner and on which date he was arrested and regarding the charge sheet and fir all the details can be viewed here by the cops so you can view entire detail about each case and it is helpful for the cops to solve every case so this is about the project crime report management system thank you for watching the video for further queries kindly visit our website